your microphone is muted. Now it's not. That fixed that problem. Okay, uh, a little bit late today, but that's okay. Just 10 minutes late. I need to make sure the chat is set properly. There we go. That's all done and taken care of. Move the microphone back just a little bit. Now, my playlist that I set up yesterday did not save. That was probably my fault for not hitting the save playlist thing. I'm stupid. So, let's set it up again. Uh, because I'm late, I would have I would have normally set this up beforehand, but because I'm late, I decided I'll go ahead and set it up now. So, no music at the moment. Why don't we fix that now that we have some music in the playlist? I'll always start with this. Make sure the set it there. Oh, James is here again to tell me gay, 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 gay. That's just gonna be his trademark. Just a minute. I'm a little late to the stream, so I decided to start streaming before the stream is actually even officially set up. And that's mostly because uh, my playlist didn't save. So, yep, gotta gotta set that back up again. So, question is, who do I want on here? Hmm. Oh yeah, we had, so let's just do this, 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 those into the mix and there we go that ought to do well jello it's nice to have you join james i assume you're only gonna come here to say gay 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 and then disappear so nice having you here see you later Jello, you missed yesterday's stream. What a bastard. But I'm glad to have you here today. I 
should probably let Conrad know I'm streaming, even though he's probably busy. Too busy for me. What a liar. You just don't like me anymore. <laughs> You've gotten too big and too popular to have time for me. The streams have been nothing but just talking, really, as they were back in the old days. Hey, hang on. It's, uh... I'm not happy with this playlist. I need more to it. It's we need some something a little more pop. J pop. Conrad says, give me like 30 more minutes, okay. We need some more varied music. Where is... Oh, it's such a long library. The question is, what do we want? Uh, let's do... Oops. This one... And this one. These two. This one. One. Uh, neither of those. Throw those in the mix. There we go. Much better now. More music. Okay, so how's it going, Jello? How's all the popularity coming along? Let's look at your channel. Just, just how many subscribers do you have now? Did you pass me yet? Not yet, but you're getting close. You certainly are getting close. I feel like your Kizuna Eye video. Uh, well, it's done better than the others. I felt like Kiz the Kizuna Eye video might get some quite a handful of views, and it, it did, kind of. Kizuna Eye video had uh, has 319 views according to what I see, which is quite a bit better than the rest of your normal content, except for your your one anime goes too far big boobs edition. Getting all them views on boobs.
And your voice cries out for the cool deep grace And the lights go out, will there be a trace that I love? I should just refresh this page. What am I doing? I'm silly. <laughs> There's nothing like boob views. I know. I need to incorporate more boobs into my videos, clearly. I really do need to do work on my next video. And my next video, I already know, is not going to get a lot of views. Especially not from my subscribers. In fact, that was something I was going to do during this week while I was off, is I was going to at least finish the fucking script. That's, that's a good starting place. Finish the script. I want to finish it so I can move on to something else, and I don't even know what I want to move on to. Maybe... Maybe... Blue Steel? I don't know. It's kind of just like whatever I'm in the mood for, you know? I don't feel like talking about it, then I just want to talk about it. So if you want to see something funny, so yesterday I obviously uh, had a playlist set up of a lot of different music and um, well let's just say a lot of it got content ID'd. So why don't we take a look at that real fast. Where's the rest of the crew? They'll come. It's all, I've only been streaming for 12 minutes now. Come on. So let's take, let's take a look at this. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there might actually be more, but ten is a pretty round number. I wonder if it'll only content ID up to ten songs. And then at that point, it'll just say, N no more. You've just hit the copyright extreme. Just You're a terrible person. Yesterday, I mean, yesterday is pretty much basically just me and one other person for the most part. A couple people came in, but they didn't really stay that long or talk that much. I think at the end of the stream, I had five people there, but I think only one person was really interacting. So, you know. Twitch is just less convenient for me. Oops, I minimized Blue Bar. I can't do that, otherwise my bars and waves will freeze. Twitch is just not as convenient as YouTube. Con YouTube is just right here, and it's just... It happens. Hello, Alex! Did I minimize it again? Is that why it's not bouncing? No. I guess the stream lag is just really bad. There we go. Now it's fixed. I just don't... 
I don't know. I don't ever feel like going over to Twitch. I hate its player. It never wants to work for me so well. And I know I don't really have to deal with the player. Because... Well... Because I'm streaming. But I like to have the player open so I can make sure the stream is still going and it didn't die. Oh man, that blows. What were you auditioning for? Hey, it's Mr. Mixtape. Take it from me, who has been going through countless numbers of artists, uh, being rejected, being rejected does not mean you're untalented. It just means you're not fitting the style they're looking for. I've had to contact, I had to respond to a lot of people who were just, just me saying, no, I'm sorry, your style doesn't meet what I'm looking for. Also, there's been a good number of people who are also untalented hacks. Mixtape knows all about singing. Things have been pretty good for me, other than my artist fucking leaving, but, you know. That's okay, it's just an opportunity to find... To find new... And better... Talent. I mean, I'd say you're welcome to try out to sing for my music, but but I'm tired of trying to hire people to do work for me. To be honest, <laughs> people are unreliable. I've only had I've only ever had only ever had one person who did a good professional job for me. But they're actually doing it as a favor. 
And after they did that job, they are like, now you kind of need to pay me, like, a normal amount of money. And I was like, your normal amount of money is way more than I can afford. So the moral of the story is, is if you want to hire talent, you have to pay a lot of money. <laughs> Which actually makes sense. Well, I would have, I would pay more if I can't, could, but I just simply can't. Surprisingly, from what I've seen, it's what I'm offering my artists is actually on the high end. It still feels like cheap, it still feels pretty cheap to me, but if it's the high end, then sure, no problem, I'll, I'll pay it. Yeah, I know people gotta eat. It's just sometimes when it comes to like, and maybe th this this is something I should take note of myself, but it's like, it, when it comes to small time artists, you can't expect professional pay because you're small time. This goes for anything, singers, musicians. Uh, I paid my previous artist uh, fifty fifty dollars per character design, and then um, she, we never got around to this obviously because there's only character designs going around in the background and no actual finished art product. But the cover was going to be one hundred dollars plus twenty dollars per character on the cover. The first character is obviously free, so it'd be... Well, I mean... I'm being rather picky about the artists that I want to hire, and I think it's important to me to be picky. We had a conversation about this yesterday, actually, with one of the other people. You guys weren't here, so... So... But it's, it's important that, to me it's really fucking important that my fucking vision is met. Yeah, see? And actually, to be honest, um, for two of the characters, I actually paid her 60 because I felt like 50 was still too low. Um, and I actually, I... I put that in my in my uh, job description I even put that in there it's like look if you do a good job and you get it to me quickly then I'll be happy to pay you a bonus on top of that So, I'm trying to find, but now I'm trying to find another artist, and this one guy, this one guy is angry with me. <laughs> he kind of sounds angry with me that I'm being so picky about it.
Yeah, I know. And I see, you know, like some people, uh, mostly on Deviant Art is where I get these people. Um, when they, uh, they'll like post their commission page. And by the way, that's that's the wrong thing to fucking do. These guys are fucking idiots. But anyways, and it's like, and it's it's like six dollars per character and like thirty six dollars for like full art. And it's like, are you what? Are you joking? I would never do that. That's too cheap. That's too cheap. And actually, one of the guys that actually had, I really like this person's art, but... Um... We... He doesn't speak very much English, and it's kind of important that he does. Let's see, where is he? Let me see if I can find his art. I have so many fucking emails here. Yeah, this one. Okay, let's see. So... So if we go... No, oh, that's my job listing. So if we go here... So this is the person I was talking about. Like... Full sketch, black and white with lots of detail, you know, five to ten dollars, depending on the detail. So we're saying, like, maybe this one would be, like, the five dollar one, and this one would be, like, the ten dollar one. Like, look at all that shit! That's a lot of fucking shit going on there! For ten bucks? And then, down here... Actually, this one... This pricing is kind of all over the place. This one's 40 to 55 for a character sheet. I like his art, but like I said, he just his English is not good enough. He doesn't he doesn't understand. Also, my other problem is so. Here's my job listing on DeviantArt. These are where all the fucking retards flock to. Unfortunately, I've also gotten the most responses from it as well. And I clearly state down here that if they're interested, they need to email me. Did I get fucking so many fucking retards down here just fucking spamming their shit? And I actually went through the uh, hiring forums. And I noticed a lot of similar faces. Let's see, let's go. Let's see, destroy the, 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 the looking for an artist to draw. It's looking for an artist. Where's one that says looking for an anime artist? Let's see, looking for. Let's see. Let's see, let's see artist. Oh, I saw one. I saw a good one yesterday. This is so bad. Um, person was saying they're looking for a, an anime artist for a slice of life anime that they want to put on Netflix. Okay, so, let me just back up here, let me just back up. Um, and if we go back to my posting, I want you to look at my listing here. Do you see how I've set this up? Like, I fucking spent time, like, fucking formatting all this shit, dividing it, here's the goal of the project, here are the requirements of the project, here's the payments and all that, and then now here's the app. Like, this looks like a fucking job listing, right? And this person who wants to do a fucking slice of life anime, which is gonna be expensive as all fucking hell, by the way, um, just, is, he, he's laid out no plan, he's laid out no, nothing, nothing, no information whatsoever about how he's gonna achieve that and how he's gonna pay for that. Oh, this person's paying three thousand dollars. I wonder if that's true. Here's my listing. Let's uh No, oh, here we go. So we're starting to see some similar faces here. So these are just people who don't fucking read the topic and start just posting their shit on these forms. I this person here, Pocola, posted on my thread. 
um, L Ray. Let's bring this up. I'll show you right now. So L Ray here, and where's? I'm pretty sure. I oh, have yeah, Pocola. There we go. Yeah, so, yeah, and then this person, uh, I guess you can't even go to, did he leave DeviantArt or what? Either way, here, for a slice of life anime, talking about getting on Netflix, he hasn't even started the Kickstarter project for this, so, you know, dreams aloof, man, it's all it is. Now this person, this person replied. So, anyways, the point of me bringing this up, though, actually, and this person, they're doing the same thing. I would, I would say that this is probably not the most professional of listings, but that's fine. It's still laid out better than others. They've. They probably just know that fucking DeviantArt, DeviantArt is a fucking cancer's website and didn't want to spend longer than they need to be here. Anyways, the point is, is that they, they also clearly state, you know, contact us at this link, you know, at our fucking email address. And then you have all these fucking retards who just fucking spam their shit down here. Now, the reason I bring this up is because there's this artist I was just talking about here that I really like his work, but I just... I. It shows something about his reliability, right? There's something about his reliability that is expressed through the fact that uh, he could not, he could not actually fucking listen to, he could not read the post. Yeah, here, here he is. He posted his stuff here. And he didn't contact my email address where I clearly state that they need to go. So, but I like his art, so I really wanted to consider him. I sent him a note on, on DeviantArt, I was like, look, I really like your art, but this is, you have to read the post, you know? He doesn't have a lot of color, though. A lot of the colored ones are... So, he's from Indonesia. Hello, Adam. And hello, Raider. Sorry, I was distracted with uh, that. I don't know. 3,000... It might be kind of high, but they they said they're a professional studio. They've I think they've released other games, and I mean they're, it's art for a visual novel. So like basically every frame, it's halfway to animation, right? Every character reaction needs to be drawn. Uh, yeah, you mentioned you're moving somewhere. Where where did you move to? Just another house. There, there's not a lot going on. Staying home. Staying home and browsing artists. 
trying to find someone to fucking replace the artist that left. It's a long, long journey. I think soon I'm actually going to need to repost some of these listings, especially on Reddit, because I've gotten hardly hardly any response, almost no responses come from Reddit anymore, so I think my topics have sank pretty low. This was not the Shadow Song that I wanted. I should change that. Where is the Shadow Song that I want? Shadow. This one. So, at some point, that song will maybe come up. She did, uh, she just, I don't know, I guess she just, like, fucking reads everything I say with fucking vitriol, like, I, I guess to her, I'm never just a calm person, I'm just always angry or something, so, I talked about this yesterday in the stream, actually, so I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and just briefly talk about this, um, so basically what she responded with was that she misreads everything as as if I'm giving her attitude as I was just saying so uh, basically she was saying that she didn't like that I was turning it into an argument it's like I'm not trying to turn it into an argument I'm trying to fucking defend myself because apparently you misunderstood every fucking thing I've ever said to you ever god damn so anyways so yeah, I was try not trying to argue with her, but she thought I was trying to argue with her, and it's just, fuck it, whatever, <laughs> shit, <laughs> just go, I don't care, he I've told her this before, and I, I repeated it again in my own email, it's like, look, I don't want us to work together if we're going to have shitty feelings towards each other, blah, 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 shitty feelings towards each other, because that's not a good, like, working environment you know like if you're gonna go then just fucking go I don't I don't want you here just go I mean but what what was aggravating to me what frustrated me is that you know this whole time she'd been saying that like she the very first email the very first email that she sent said that she had been thinking about this she didn't want to seem like she was flipping about this that was those are her own words she didn't want to seem flipping about this so she had been considering this for a while now. Then why didn't you fucking say anything, damn it? <laughs> if you've been thinking about it, then you should have said something. Like, let's say, okay, she said that she was toughing it out for the last character design. So let's say she had been thinking about this starting at the beginning of that last character design. It took her about a month to do that whole design from you know, concept to completion. And if she had told me at the beginning of that, it took me about two weeks to find her, right? And if she had told me at the beginning of that, that meant that it would have taken two weeks to find an artist, and then I would still have two weeks left to get that artist up to speed on everything while she's wrapping up her art, and then hopefully there'd be excuse me, zero downtime between one artist and the next. But even still, if she had told me halfway through that character design that she was thinking about leaving, then that still gives me two weeks to find the artist where I could then, after she leaves, get the artist up to speed. At least he would now be hired under me. He would be up to speed and know what to do, and then we could start work within a, a soon amount of time. That's not, that's not grammar. I... Yeah, <sighs> frustra- basically the point is, is I'm frustrated that she decided to not tell me until she made her decision, right? She should have said something before then. Because if I wanted to ever get this out on any sort of schedule, any sort of timely manner, she's doing a right fucking good job of screwing up the fucking 
deadline that I'm trying to set for this shit to get released. So anyways, she she pretty much said the the sh after all that she I mean, she only responded once. Let me clear that up. There there was not any other emails other than one last email, which is where she was just reading everything as me giving her attitude and then she's just basically said, you know, you can email me all you want, but I don't want this to be an argument, so this is the last thing I want to say. And fine. Fine. Just just go. Now, honestly, there was part of me that did want to respond, but I got so fucking... I did not expect so many emails when I posted these job listings that I just got so fucking busy with it that I just... I was like, I don't have time to even respond. Just fucking whatever. She's she's gone. She's gone. Just let her go. There's, I mean, I don't want her here anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. This was the Shadow Song that I wanted. I'm surprised it played only one song later after that last Shadow Song. Now things have kind of died down a little bit. Um, there are a few artists who contact me who said that they want to do some sketches to see if they can't match the style that I'm looking for, so kind of waiting on some of their responses. Um, and I don't know, I guess I need to repost the listings otherwise. I, I want to, regardless, I want to leave the listing open for at least two weeks anyways, just to see the variety of talent that is available. Jello even still here or did Jello leave? I guess it's the one thing that I, I do like about Twitch is at least it says who's in the chat. Here I don't get that! But that's okay, it's just so much more convenient to stream on YouTube. back from, I was hoping to hear back from some of them today, actually when I woke up, since time differences and all that, but I didn't hear back from them today. What do you mean you exist? Are you offering your services? You're the one who's just the humble bard, right? So, I don't know what services you're offering, but I'm not interested. Conrad is here! 
the party can get started! It's... it's much already started. Conrad, you're just in time to... I don't know. <laughs> to nothing. That's, that's that. Let's look at some of the new ones that I've favored. Let's see, that's the one that I already talked about. Danya. So. Yandere's. Remind me what a Yandere is. So. I have this person here. Who has a, a nice. Style, but I don't know. I didn't really look too much on what they posted here. None of these are colored either. So this person, I, I've kind of this person on Reddit. That's right. So, this person is very minimal with coloring, but, I don't know, it's nice. This is the one that I probably like the most. And here's something about emotions. And just the disturbing smile. New character data? What do you mean? So, I don't know. Considering this person... This, this doesn't quite... It's not quite the same, though. Uh, Conrad, you might appreciate this person. This person it clearly states uh, that he's had his influence from 80s and 90s anime. And it fucking shows. He has quite the fucking impressive resume, though. Um, he had several indie games um, finished that had some that he actually did the animation in. Uh, and anyways, so you might appreciate this one, Conrad. His 80s and 90s style bleeds through everything. I asked him to try doing some more modern anime, and it still looks like 90s. Like, this looks like, uh, Kenshin from Rurouni Kenshin. And this looks like Melfina from Outlaw Star. The best anime, as we all know. You know, one step at a time. Conrad, don't you know that's what I'm doing? I'm not looking for a new artist, artist to replace the artist I quit. I'm actually looking for an artist to do the manga. I'm kidding. This person here. This person, if I remember correctly, let's see, this person was super nice, but I... No... Art style is pretty bad. So, okay, so this is the person... I talked about this person yesterday, who's a 
apparently a professional mangaka here in Japan. Although they didn't they didn't uh, link any of their stuff. Um, and only linked this one picture which is not that great. So Sylvie is another one. should respond to this person. I haven't yet. This is pretty good art. Uh, June was the other one that I was waiting for. She said that she wanted to do some... She's actually the one who kind of started this trend among my other people of wanting to do sketches. Um, because what she has on offer is not great, but I see potential in it, right? Because she has quite a variety from this to this, so... Oh, hey, Zonore, whatever your name is. Cheez-Its. I, I did not read that as Cheez-Its. I read that as Cheez-Its, which I'm not even sure what that is, or if I'm reading that correctly. Don't worry, Zon. That's what I'm gonna call you, because I'm sure I butcher the rest of your name. Don't worry, Zon. You can like whatever anime you want. If you just like the big ones, you can just like the big ones. If you like the other small weird ones, you can like the small weird ones too. If you don't mind, you know, being called a weeaboo and all that stuff for liking weird fucking shit. That's what you're saying. Oh, that I get it. You can just say Z. Ah, see, I'm I misunderstood. Silly me. Ha. Huh. Okay, Z. Have you watched Valkyrie Drive and Sakura Trick? Those are the best ones. Those are my favorites. recommend oh 
Okay, well that's a good starting place. I highly recommend you watch Valkyrie Drive. And don't play the fucking game because the game's pretty fucking bad. Just, just watch the anime. This is Massive Attack again. Massive Attack just come up again in my fucking playlist. No, let's, let's not do Massive Attack twice in a row. Yes, Yuri pretty much means lesbian. Sort of. <laughs> In the anime world, yes. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure in Japanese, no. Let's find out. I gotta switch my keyboard to Japanese. Yuri! Oh. Ye uh, Yuri! And let's go to Google Translate. Ye Yuri means, according to Google Translate, which may not be 100% accurate, so I think what this means is that my main protagonist is actually a lesbian. You've heard it here first, guys. <laughs> Put that in your books on canon, on Everstream canon. You know, it's a lengthy, long, and well-known, well-researched book. Lily is a lesbian. It's kind of niche. It, well, yeah. Actually, it's just kind of niche. In general. Even even in Japan! The place it comes out in. Although it's a little bit more ubiquitous than anywhere else. Do they not switch? It did not. I said switch scenes, damn it! There we go. And in the language of flowers, Lily means purity! That may or may not be true, I don't know. But I have Google, hang on, just wait. Oops, I spelled it wrong! Okay, well. Meaning and symbolism of lilies. Dating as far back as 1580 BC, when images of lilies were discovered in a villa in Crete, these majestic flowers have long held a role. I think it's Crete, actually. Held a role in ancient. I don't know how to speak Greek, so forgive my pronunciation. Have long held a role in ancient mythology, derived from the Greek word leiron. That sounded more French than Greek, but anyways, generally assumed to refer to the white Madonna lily. The lily was so revered by the Greeks that they believed it sprouted from the milk of Hera. The queen of the gods, lilies are known to be the May birth flower and the 30th wedding anniversary flower, while white lilies symbolize chastity and virtue, I guess in a sense, purity, 
and where the symbols of the Virgin Mary purity and her role of Queen of the Angels, as other varieties became popular, they brought with them additional meanings and symbolism as well. Peruvian lilies, or Alstromeria, represents friendship and devotion. If you get what I'm saying, devotion. <laughs> White stargazers, lilies express sympathy, and pink stargazer lilies represent wealth and prosperity. Symbolizing humility and devotion, lilies are the 30th anniversary flower, while lilies of the valley are the second wedding anniversary flower. As the flower most often associated with funerals, lilies symbolize that the soul of the departed has received... Blah, blah, blah. The lilies symbolize that the soul of the departed has received rest restored innocence after death. Okay. Jello was here, but I don't know where he went. Uh, did I switch scenes? I don't think so. No, I didn't switch scenes while I was reading that. You just have to trust my word. That's what it says. Uh, I guess so. Uh, Lawlers, nice to have you join. No, I did not find a replacement yet. No replacement has been found. I am still searching. And I will probably continue to search for another week while I see a variety of different artists. Find who will best represent my project. Conrad, you're just going to have to go back to the old archives and find out for yourself, which I promise those episodes where I talk about it will be up soon, kind of. I'm going to try to upload an archive a day. So, uh, Anyways, uh, to summarize, though, uh, we'll come back to that, Lawlers. Um, so... To, sum to summarize, basically she left because she just didn't like my personality. That's really the short of it. So I I did find out uh, Nya.se was down. Um, Torrent Freak actually has an article on this. We can go ahead and switch scenes here. Or to, let's take a look at this article. Uh, the anime torrent site, Nya, goes down after domain name deactivation. Updated. Um, so the update... Ah. Here's a new update that I didn't read. Uh, okay, so anyways. Uh, the update, NyaTorrents.org, now, now, now deactivated. There are several people suggesting that the domain names are taken down by the owner of the org. The organization domain also has a pending delete, which could back this up. When a domain is deleted before the expiry date, it could trigger a server hold status, which is generally set by the registry. There are also some screenshots in circulation that would back this up. However, Torrent Freak hasn't been able to verify these. We can only speculate, but given that the domains were registered through different companies, manual removal by the owner would be a plausible explanation at this point. The article was updated to reflect this option. Update. Torrent Freak has heard from several people, including site moderators and other people close to the site, that Nya's owner decided to close the site voluntarily. In other words, this likely means the end. I didn't read this until today, so perhaps so. Perhaps, perhaps so. That's sad. Uh, I'm still recovering from the kick-ass torrent site being taken down uh i don't know if i'm just fucking torrentially retarded huh um or what but i've never been able to find a good replacement for kick-ass torrents since they got taken down uh this one is yeah So I don't know what I'm going to do now, 
If any of you guys know of... Uh, if any of you guys know of uh, alternatives to really anything, any torrent sites, um, both Cat needs a replacement and... Uh, and now nya so if either of you has, so if anyone here has uh, option to either of those then uh, feel free to disclose it if you will Yeah, I know about horrible subs. I go to horrors, horrible subs a lot. And yes, Z, that is it. That is the entirety of the trap. Cause it's a trap. Get it. <laughs> So you guys will be happy to hear that Himoto Maru-chan second season is gonna happen, it's gonna happen, it's gonna start in October. Oh boy. Chan is the worst thing on this fucking planet. Am I gonna- I never even fucking reviewed the first fucking season because it was just fucking awful. Also, I- I still hold true to a rule that I set a long ass time ago when I started this channel, and Conrad, you were there for this rule. I will never review anything ever that Demolition has already covered. Demo D has already covered. I also don't do second seasons. No, why did I do that? Go back. Sorry, that was an overreaction to me leaving my live stream page. I mean, not that it matters. I'm still live streaming no matter what. But it means I can't. I can't see my stream. Himoto Umaru-chan. Here, why don't we all just fucking live in this fucking wretched fucking abomination. Hang on, gathering. Let's go here. Let's turn up the volume. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Demolition D. Back with a brand new track. Fucking gross. <laughs> Shirafi-san? <laughs> 
fuck my big black ass. You ever look at a fad like truck nuts, or crocs, or minions, and think, yeah, no, that's never gonna last. Only to learn as time goes by that you have frighteningly underestimated the staying power of even the shallowest of trends. Because that's kinda how I feel about today's topic. One Punch Man. Kidding, kidding, just simmer down. Even I'm not that contrarian. Now let me tell you why I dislike this popular show. I've never been fond of the phrase flavor of the week. Because even at a show's 15 minutes of internet fame waxes and wanes into the unknown, oh yeah, pile of regurgitated half-baked misery that is an anime news network popularity poll, the phrase still hints at perhaps a micro- The problem is, is I actually don't have and when it comes my to chat Uno's open. Taste, I'd say so it's I have no idea if you guys are saying anything. Cracker. I'll eat it because my low self-esteem dictates just about every standard in my life. But like a cheap prostitute, I can still identify things that I don't want in my mouth. Now, I'm actually doing this one upon mass request. I've been away for a while, so I thought I owed it to cover something that's actually asked of me for once, which I don't normally do. Normally, I wish most of you were dead. <laughs> I'll bet you have. I'll bet you are wondering when she'd go the way of the Chaika or Hestia and stop being a reaction image for every fucking post under the sun. Demo, can you like make a point already or maybe explain the plot before you try and rationalize how shit a show is with your own creatively bankrupt generalizations? Sure, easy. Easier than DJ Khaled explaining the plot of the new Star Wars. Another one. Buy me a uh, game on each hand. No, Maro. I'll have you know you I've watched this video so many fucking times now. It's just but I want potato on each hand. No, I'm not gonna watch potato. One Punch Man. No. He hasn't uploaded in like a fucking year, by the way. Enjoy your game. Play, rinse, repeat 12 whole episodes like a ruler of mediocrity, where inch by inch you feel like less of a productive member of society. Not at all because the show does anything to accurately portray what being a useless member of society is actually like, but because for a total of six hours, you realize that you've just sat through the anime equivalent of the Big Bang Theory, trying so hard to appeal to both the Watamote crowd and the seasonal garbage eaters that like things slightly less gross that you're ashamed to show your face again at work. Back up to what I said about play, rinse, repeat. The fact that somewhere along the line the anime somewhat hints at Umaru growing up and vaguely realizing that just maybe she's a bit too self-centered only to end the same way the show began, effectively culminating in her attempting to trick her brother into buying a car? Like a bad hand job, that rubbed me the wrong way. But I guess that doesn't work out, so she just aims a little lower asking for manga and games again. <laughs> just like you, viewer, you like I game? think that pretty much summarizes reference. my feelings right there. I mean, I know it's not necessarily it's a, a kid's show, summary. but if I were a hot single yep. Japanese housewife, I'd be worried if my impressionable little nips eagerly awaited the weekly installment of this shit, teaching kids everywhere to be self-entitled little buttholes. And as much as I love little buttholes, I fear for the future of our youth. The music is so bad, okay? Now you think I'm just reaching for more things to complain about, right? For a show like this one, is the composition really worth the scrutiny? Why even mention it? Because it's actually that bad. For the love of all that is anime, who in Miyazaki's name allowed for this atrocious composition of dates and dudes during Umaru's transformation scenes, which there are many of, mind you? Hey yo, Fama Lamborghini, what kind of BGM you want? Oh yeah, well, I don't know, just bust out the fucking wooden train for go to town, I guess. Hey, I'll grab my kazoo. I'm really feeling it. What the fuck? Bad dog! If I had to say one nice thing, it'd be Ebina. If I had to say two nice things, it'd be Ebina's double dudes. <laughs> I mean, I sure as heck can't say anything flattering about the rest of the cast. Especially the brother when that fucking faggot shows less self-respect than your mom on the floor of a football locker room. American football. That course, fucking faggot. Yeah, anyways, that's probably enough. We've watched four minutes of that video. Let's move, let's move back to the, let's move back to this. Make sure volumes are all right. A little loud. It's okay. I'm just... Yeah. So let's go back to his channel, uh, after I flip up and see what's been missed. Yep, Emoto is the last video that he uploaded. He had the Berserk video just before Himoto. So 
So yeah, let's look at his channel and see what's what's going on here. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. It's been a year. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. He's dead. He also has Demolition D2, which I'm actually subscribed to, and it has his humor, but, you know, he has a more recent upload. It was, it was five months ago. It was five, it was five months ago. He's still alive, folks! But, uh... He's pretty much dead. GO BACK! It won't let me go back to Demo's channel. We can just click this one right here. How about we do that? Okay. So... I had, like, started re-watching a lot of his stuff. You're so loud, Sawa. So, I had started re-watching a lot of his stuff. It's still funny! You know, if you want to just laugh, that happens. I watched some of it, Lollers. You can go fuck yourself. What? I actually don't mind watching my stuff once in a while. I... I actually think my most recent video was actually not that absolutely fucking terrible. Actually, I thought it was quite funny. But the the problem is, is... And this is... Uh, no, this... Here's the internal thinking of, of Nolan, is uh, I don't think I can do better than that because the humor was entirely based in the shock value. Like, you didn't expect me to go there, and I went there, but I can't really one-up myself from that point. Like, that is the ceiling, right? So I just... I don't know what to do at this point. You know, it's it's done. It's, what's done is done. It's done. It's, it's nothing more. No, no more. It's done. So, did I? Uh, yeah, it's fine, so. So, you know. Life should, is like a box like of doujin. You never know what you'll get, but it's okay. The lollies are still in there somewhere. And don't worry, your old pal Nolan is here to help track down the lolliest of lollies to... Uh, so... Did I set it? I didn't set it. We should probably set it to screen capture. That'd probably help, you know. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't fucking want to watch Madoka Magica. You can go fuck yourself. Is what you can do. Um, and no, I didn't watch Shin Sakai Yori. I'm sorry, I didn't fucking watch the ones that you wanted me to watch. Okay. I watched some shit, but it might not have been the ones that you wanted me to watch. I watched Chunibyo Demo Koi Ga Shitai. Sure, you feel at your dirtiest next time you find yourself jacking off inside a pair of dirty panties you stole from your coworker. See, the problem here is that, you know, I, I've used my material, right? I can't do this, this gag again. It'll just be ran into the ground. Tell me you still feel like you have an ounce of morality left in you? Well, I guess it's time I bust out my trump card. We've all known it was coming. Today, I'm finally going to give some thoughts on Chino Chanwa Gachushin, the breakout doujin by Miwa Futaba. And for the record, by the way, I actually do I own that it's been over a year that uh the first season fucking the doujin. I actually found it at a doujin store here in Japan, and I actually have it. I threw it on the desk at the beginning. Uh, here. Uh, if we is there's not really. Can you zoom in? You can't zoom in on the video. Uh, so you can see 
it should say you can barely make it out and because the stream is actually at 720p you might not even be able to see this but it says Futaba Miwa just like what I was talking about you never know what dirty panties you stole from your co-worker you still feel like you have an ounce of morality left in you well I guess it's time I thanks for joining Bray hello We've all known it was coming. Today, I'm finally going to give some thoughts on Chino Chanwa Gachushin, the breakdown dojo. Okay, so I guess to be fair, this one is speaking, a little bit different. I think it's a different volume than the one that I had. But the first both ones that I have are Miwa Futaba, so go fuck yourself. I was a little bit of a liar. Lonely life in communist China, where I cannot even experience the mundane day-to-day -day conversations such as, where's the shampoo? I felt watching through this series again might be a better option than leaping from the 21st floor of my building that I live in. And yes, if you are wondering, that is in I've fact the building that I lived in. And this right here is the store that I go to all the time. It's called A2, the recycled media shop. Don't expect me to make a habit of covering second seasons, especially for Slice of Life. One of my greater concerns, ironically, was that maybe... Well, this is actually my own video, because apparently you fuckers want me to commentate over my own video, so... That's what I'm doing, It's commentating over it. So, you can go watch this video for yourself, it's on my channel. ...artificially love the show much more. While partially true, I am still a rep. Actually, it's funny, I, I had a fucking dream about... Uh, let's pause it, because this is a little bit of a story. Oops. So, uh, so I actually had a little bit of a dream that I was actually in the uh, rabbit show world, right? And uh, <laughs> um, so basically, I the dream was I went to go work. I was it. I guess it wasn't really working at the cafe. But, uh, I did live with, uh, Chino and Coco. I was like, man, this fandom of mine is not good. Ah, uh, we have Lawlers and... And Conrad leaving? Fine, fuckers, leave. I have Bray and Crimson and Mixtape and Z and... Better people than you fuckers. Get out of here. You hear about my you're not gonna hear the story about my embarrassing fandom that I hate myself for. I shouldn't like a show this much. It's a problem. I haven't even watched it in a while, right? I watched it just before actually probably a month before I did the review. And uh, and then I did the review and I haven't watched it since, you know? Like, I did the review and that was that. Uh so I don't know. Anyways. So, it was kind of weird, though. Because it's, it's like... Okay, so, I think what it was... It was like I just... It was like I just moved to Japan, actually. In the dream. And... And I had, uh... Fuck Alex. <laughs> fuck you, Alex. <laughs> um... And I, I had just moved to Japan, and I needed a place to stay. I had been staying at this one place as temporary living, which is actually true. Um, uh, I have been staying at a temporary place, in truth, here in Japan. Um, and so Coco was like, you can stay at my place! And so I went and lived at the cafe, except it was kind of weird. It was like more of a castle than, than an actual cafe. Like, there was many many floors to it and then there was like a lot of rooms and stuff but at the very top there's like a spire and a big uh observatory at the top and apparently i decided that that was coco's room but i had decided that i was gonna i was gonna sleep in that room uh so and coco was like yeah you can just leave, you can just take this room i'll just go sleep in like the fucking basement or something it's like yep and that was a dream. That was a dream I had. So, I don't know. Apparently I like this show too fucking much. 
I was looking around. Uh, I'm I'm happy to say this. Uh, I was looking around my room to see how much fucking rabbit show stuff I have, and uh, I have I have a lot, but. The th my fucking pride and joy is actually just owning the fucking series because I didn't get the fucking series the whole series first and second season was not easy because I went to the recycled media store right and so it's basically whatever people resell back to the store is what they have and they always had discs two three four five and six uh, actually it's two three one two three because first season second season but anyways um, but they never had the first motherfucking disc to the fucking first season, and I finally fucking got it. I finally got it. So, yay, I have the complete collection now. Uh, but I don't have the OVA that they released. I still haven't watched the OVA either, actually. I should really fucking download that. That would probably be a good idea. So anyways, back to this, I accidentally, I accident, stop it, every time I switch scenes, every time I switch scenes on OBS, it fucks with, um, uh, DLC, so like I'm sorry, but dungeon. we backed up a little bit here. Never know what you'll get, but so okay. let's go forward. Are still a, the weird man that is just still a rep, a lolly, ironically, was that maybe my own opinion was wrong. Maybe, just... Maybe I was brainwashed by the Moe Lolly love that I didn't have quite as much experience with during my first review that I might have artificially loved the show much more. No, I'm not gonna watch the fucking OVA with my fucking audience live. Are you fucking retarded? It triggers deep pleasure at watching small lollies do small lolly things. There are many things I still stand by from my original review. Rabbit Show is, and always has been, a simple show, just like that doujin. It knows that, and it doesn't try to be deeper. Of course, this is pretty standard for a slice of life. Just turn your brain off and giggle along. Buy our figures. Don't worry, all the lollies will flock to you if you buy our Blu-rays. And while Look, I turn into like a little fucking high schooler when I'm fucking watching, when I'm watching Rabbit Show, and I just don't want that to be public. Okay, that's that's something I'm gonna share intimately with only very special people. Only very special people get to revel in the fucking like teenager I turn into when I'm watching fucking Rabbit Show. Okay. Or cooking oil, or just plain old lotion you brought out. It's always there for you to make you feel good when you want it. That is, until it runs out. Rabbit Show has always taken a special way of being simple fun without being absolutely fucking mind-numbingly stupid. It doesn't coast solely on the idea that you are a dumb fucking reptile and will consume any fucking small girl show that they turn on in front of you even if that is actually true. Since the first season, there has been a minor degree of structure to it, with small little mysteries thrown throughout to keep you coming. The second what do you mean, what am I saying? What do you want me to explain? What do you want me to explain? I did switch the scene back, yeah. See, now the the worst part is is I have to the fucking chat delay, right? Do I recommend Gachuman wa Usagi Deska? Are you fucking retarded? I'm not fucking answering that question because you're fucking stupid. Hey, hang on a second. Uh, I'm about to give a short lecture. Where, where the fuck is my hentai? I need some hentai fucking... Viewers are fucking retarded because God forbid they actually listen to any sort of structure or analysis. Yeah. Oh. In comedies, we often see the standard of having a setting that supports. I mean, I I only the humor. I only let is tied to the setting. And this is people see me at my most vulner vulnerable like state. You can cut and paste the character I can talk about it all I want, but I'm not gonna let you. It's like letting you guys watch me masturbate is effectively what it is. I mean, it's, I mean, it kind of is, right? I turn into a fucking horny little fucking teenager and I just fucking jack off to this fucking show all the time, right? And I don't want you guys to fucking sit here and watch it with me while you just hear. 
right? To also develop the characters of the show that is some very moist masturbation. Actions, consequences, and, of course, the jokes they make. Like a pyramid, the two bottom structures of the jokes and settings are tied to the characters. By developing the characters and having this triangle created, they have created an arc for the show and the characters to help maintain the interest of the viewers. Characters grow, characters have conflicts, the world changes, albeit only a small amount, it is a slice of life after all, and you are still just a dumb, dumb reptile. Hang on, let me see if I can try a, a better masturbation noise. Exist, the episodes cannot be just a series of jokes and loosely connected. There is a reason for the humor to exist in the world. This is another there. topic. Does that sound better? Does that sound more masturbatory? For season, Rabbit Show has always been good at roping me into its own world. Where the humor itself doesn't feel like I am laughing at the show, but instead I am laughing with the characters. Obviously, not all of the humor found in the anime is strictly the humor in the situations the characters get into. Which is why I still love this show. It has a good balance of slapstick and situational humor that is balanced out by a developed cast of characters that are fun, lovable, and... I just want to stuff my dick inside cocoa. Okay, I, I will work on my masturbatory noises. Uh, I have a recording of some very masturbatory noises, but there were some sound effects that I used to make it sound more masturbatory. Running out of lotion. All good things come to an end. Well, I do love Rabbit Show, and I absolutely applaud how much they stepped up the quality in the second season, rather than just rehashing everything they did in the first. I think, just like many other anime, this series is best in one or two servings, rather than an indefinite running show that treads and retreads. You can just rewind the fucking stream, or you can wait until the archive goes up. Savoring the finer moments of the show and carrying those moments with you, rather than indulging in gluttonous helpings that only soil your fat, Cheeto, greasy appetite. So lonely, borderline pedos who subscribe to me. I'll comment on that in that just a minute, actually. Lolly love lives long. Lolly love lives strong. Uh, and who the fuck do I need to suck off to get all four Tonkoban fucking translated? Why is book two only halfway translated? Book three's translation doesn't even exist. And all of four is, well, translated, actually. Anyways, bust out the lube and Kleenex, Rabbit Show continues to give me a rock-solid erection. Also, if you want to give me the first disc of the first season, I'll... I don't need it anymore because I got it. Actually, this song is on the playlist. Let's put this song on the playlist and then let's talk about body pillows, alright? I got a story for you. So, let's switch back to music. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I think it's this one. Uh, so, I'll put this one on, and then I gotta go pee, and then we can talk about body pillows. So, just hang on.
Okay, so you can. I don't know what Dynasty Scans is. Uh, okay, so now that I'm caught up. So, speaking of love dolls, uh, so, <laughs> let's talk about Nolan's sex life, or lack thereof. Does that sound like fun? Does that sound like something we want to talk about in this stream? I don't know. <laughs> what is this link? What are you sending me to? I gotta clean up the link because you can't post links in the chat, so... That page does not exist! Okay, so... She's not a whore. Don't you dare fucking say that about her. Purity, remember? Purity! I just hit the microphone. Uh, so anyways... So... You know... A sort of, uh... Lack... I, I sort of... Lack a, a significant partner. Uh, honestly, that's that's mostly by choice. Mostly, uh, we'll, we won't go into that. Uh, but basically, uh, you know, I've been I've been interested in the uh, the sex shop the sex shop scene here in Japan because surprisingly they have quite a variety of different toys available, um, and that's. Mostly because, well, I mean, this is Japan, so of course. Um, so, I, I've been investing in various different toys, and most of them have been pretty good. But the one that had always piqued my curiosity was one of those sex dolls, actually. And the thing is, is it's fascinating because they make all sorts of different like accessories for the sex dolls. Most of the time, that in fact, the, the most popular one here is just like a PVC pillow uh, or a blow-up pillow, right? Um, and it's just a blank canvas, really, and they have all sorts of accessories, like clothing and stuff, that fits it. Um, and basically all it is, is it's just, you, you blow it up, and that's that, that's that. They come in a variety of different positions, and you have to have a sex toy for it to actually be, to function sexually. Because there's just basically a little opening at the bottom that you need to put the toy in first. So, I decided... The curi curiosity finally got the best of me, and I decided, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to finally go ahead and get one of these things, um, and try it out. And I have never regretted a purchase more in my life until after I tried this out. <laughs> I was like, this is for people who feel like they need to embrace someone. I'm not trying to bash anyone here. If that's their kind of thing, then more power to them. These are the people who struggle with loneliness. The thing is, is going back to what I said about not having a significant other is mostly by choice. And so I'm not saying I'm a lonely person. And so by using it, I felt like this was not for me. You know, just just a just a toy or my hand, and that's that's good enough. Unfortunately, none of the toys that I had actually fit the doll, right? Uh, because there are specific ones that actually are inserted into the doll, and so I, it was like a, it was a full it was a full package I had to buy that basically cost about a hundred dollars. 
I honestly would have rather spent that $100 on a body pillow because I'd rather have something to hug while I fall asleep than a blow-up doll that I fuck once and then just throw in the closet. Uh, the doll itself was about $30, um, but then on top of that, you know, uh, I actually decided I'd buy some clothing for it as well. I bought some stockings for it. And I don't know why, I just did it. Uh, that was like another 10 and then bought some lube for the toy, and then I had to buy the toy itself, and the toy was like another $30. So, you know, we're looking at almost $100. Alex, I don't think you can get a real partner. Something about just you just makes me think you can't get a real partner. If you if you fucking watch my channel, you can't get a real partner. That's that's just it. You can't get one. I do have a PS Vita. I play my PS Vita quite a bit. On it, I have Valkyrie Drive, where I get to use the touchscreen to touch the breasts of all the characters in the game. Isn't that fun? Wasn't that fun? Let's try that again. The fucking game is a fucking terrible game. I can't believe I put like fucking 12 hours into it. So the moral of the story is here. The moral of the story is here is that honestly I don't recommend the sex dolls personally. They have a variety of different positions and I think the person who would probably that these sex dolls would appeal to the most is probably the hugging position. That is not the position I got, thank god. I feel like that would be really uncomfortable. Uh, so, I just say don't get one, save your money, buy, buy, buy a body pillow. I don't think it is a bad idea to buy a body pillow, to be honest. I don't know what PAN is, PSN, oh, no. Why? Why do you want me to add you on PSN? Uh, you mean the... I don't know about $2,000 ones. There are some, I think, considerably more expensive ones that are like actual robots with like AI. Um, but I think there's somewhere more like $11,000. And if their voice wasn't robotic and fucking terrible, uh. <laughs> Uh, if the fucking AI wasn't fucking, or the AI I'm sure is fine, but if the fucking voice wasn't so robotic and terrible, I might be halfway interested in just having, like, a robotic girlfriend, because fuck real people, real people are just the fucking worst. Uh, if I want to play GTA 5, I want to play it on Steam, the only reason why I use my Vita is to play Vita exclusive games. And actually, I don't even own GTA 5. Although it is on my Steam wishlist, I'd like to play GTA on mine. That might be fun. Might be a fun little romp for a short while. I don't want to spend a lot on it because I think I'd probably only spend a few hours in GTA online. I don't think I'd spend a long time, so I don't want to spend $60 on fucking GTA. Uh, the yellow thing was because it's Golden Week, right? Uh, 
because it's golden week so I put a bunch of gold stuff and how I did this is uh, there's two layers actually let me show you the magic of, of my cheap animation uh, so we'll go here and we can see I have two layers here golden blurs one and golden blurs two and all it is is an image slideshow um, set to randomize so there's two layers one layer has like a bunch of dots in the different corners and basically it just randomly picks from one of these at two second intervals and the second layer here is at three second intervals and it's just the different dots in the middle um, but interspersed throughout there's also just nothing so random chance has it that there might just be nothing on screen at all for the middle uh, and there's just three different middle ones and that's how I did it So there you go, that's how it works. Yeah, more or less. I think adults are terrible people. Now you're welcome to add me on Steam. Just look up Lord Licorice, but it's spelled weird, so maybe I should change I thought I'd change that to Nolan Alighieri. Hmm. Huh. Uh, I guess not, so I guess I'll just have to write that in chat so you know how to fucking spell it. I don't know, it's complicated for me. It's kind of like I went so long without friends, it's... Well, I wouldn't say without friends. I have friends and I get to talk to you guys here, right? But the thing is that I like about this is that I'm always like in the dominant position. Like, this is my fucking stream and we get to talk about me because I'm a fucking narcissistic, fucking egotistical fucking bastard, right? Just a fucking scum, right? So... You know, this is basically my social time, and then I get to talk at school. And I, I love talking to to the kids. The kids are my favorite. I get along with the kids so much better. Uh, adults are just terrible people, you know? So it's kind of like, while I was in China, I really didn't have that many friends. And while I was in America, I really didn't have that many friends. Uh... And so I guess I've just kind of gone so long with just not that many friends that just limited social interactivity is all I really need. So it's kind of like, a, you know, it's not like I'm crippled by fucking social anxiety. Although I, when I'm in large crowds, I guess sometimes it's, it's, I wouldn't say crippled though. That makes it sound so dramatic, right? It's just kind of like I'm not in the mood. Like, I feel less in the mood the bigger the crowd is. I don't know. Yeah, I know. The pedo thing has been done already. No. No, I, I do my best to try not to reiterate points that I've already talked about in my streams. I mean, I can't remember everything that I talk about in all of my streams, but I'm going to do my best not to talk about the same things, because if you want to hear about it, then you can just go to the archive and, and hear about it, so. Okay, Conrad. See you later. I might be ending the stream soon anyways, actually. Two hours is a pretty good, pretty good length. How did what go?
Uh, yes and no. I think the the show has a cheesy charm to it. I can never actually watch the full thing. You know, I'll watch just watch episodes sometimes. Uh, as far as the card game goes, I really like the card game. I wanted to play the card game. But I never had anyone to play with. I mean, I used to play it a lot back when I was a kid when it was much more popular. But, you know, since then, I'd stopped playing it. And then I tried to get back into it when I was getting back into, like, Pokemon cards and stuff. But no one wanted to play Yu-Gi-Oh! with me. Uh, that's, a uh, Bray, that's, that's a long story, it's, and it, it's, it's a tough subject too, that I don't, it's, if I don't summarize it correctly, it may imply wrong things, so. Bray, it might just be better that you just wait until the archive goes up, and you can just listen to that then. What is Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro? point now I'm just kind of like not interested like because some of the fun I think is in collecting the cards too maybe it might be fun online but I don't know I feel like it's missing part of the charm well then maybe not you know I think about how much money is spent on cards and it's fucking terrible This is always the thing that I struggle with the most in games like 1v1 stuff. Like it It gets me too tense, man. It's it's too tense for me. I can't handle it. Conversations kind of died down a little bit here as well. Uh, I mean, 
I don't have much to contribute to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro thing, because, you know, I don't, I don't play the card game at all, and I wanted to get into it, but I think my interest is now just gone. <laughs> my card hype was back. My, my TCG hype that had been reinvigorated was back uh, with the release of Pokemon X and Y. So, and so it's obviously been a while, so now my TCG hype has diminished. So, yeah, I'm gonna get some food. As I had posted uh, on my channel, I will be streaming tomorrow and Friday as well. Same time. Roughly the same time. I should make that clear. Uh, I really don't want to try to make it such a big deal that I'm fucking 10 o'clock on the fucking nose, right? So I might be a little late like I was today. I was 10 minutes late. I don't want to feel rushed. Normally, I should be able to make it at 10. So I'll probably be at 10 tomorrow. Maybe Friday, too, because there's only two more days. I can't read that, Crimson. I'm sorry. I'm learning. Oh. No Nihongo. So, anyways, alright, I guess I will talk to you guys tomorrow.